plumbing's coming through here somewhere. It's a huge operation. We, we've never had any, anything of this magnitude. Stress pure in many aspects as well. Like building a new city, including pipes and, and cables and electrical, plumbing, carpentry, tile, flooring, ceilings, everything. We have to finish it today. But we have uh, more than 200 subcontractors right now. We have uh, Americans here, we have Estonians, Poles, Portuguese, Finns, Swedes. About uh, between 60 and 100 um, shipyard people also. So all together, way more than 300 people. Probably 500 people between shipyard crew and subcontractors. National Geographic Explorer just became the National Geographic Explorer yesterday. We painted her name on the bow. And this is the last day you will see her in her current condition, which is on shore, being on shore. She's been here for nearly five months. An enormous amount of work has taken place. Uh, we've created the strongest ice reinforced ship you can imagine. The reinforcement is the whole length of the ship from the bow, bow, bow all the way to the stern extension. The ship was essentially entirely gutted, so every bit of interior space is brand new. And tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning, all things being equal, she will finally now go into the water and it'll be a long time before she is again up out of the water. This is really incredible. I guess it's about 10, 15 minutes away until she actually will start to float. I would imagine we'll hear an incredible cheer from more or less everybody that's on the deck of that ship. You'll certainly hear one from me. In many ways, this is the most exciting part of the whole process. This is, the ship is now in a synchro lift. She'll be dropped down into the water. Unfortunately, it takes about an hour and a half because you want to stop periodically and check and make sure that there's no leakage into the ship. Uh, we're sitting here on a boat just outside of it, uh, watching this whole process. But within a half an hour, 45 minutes, this process should be finished and uh, she'll be floating, properly floating. So that's what's going on. Look at that, the bow thrusters are almost submerged. Stabilizers just It's 10.30 in five and a half hours in Reykjavik, Iceland. Uh, we'll have our first guests aboard the National Geographic Explorer. I'm a little bit shaky to see this ship. You're giddy? It's kind of exciting, you mean? Or yes. Yeah. Positively. Positively, of course. Whoa. She did it! 
So, my fellow shipmates, I must say it's uh, a great relief and a great joy to finally be on our way, doing what we're meant to be doing with the National Geographic Explorer, which is uh, exploring.